as everyone's transitioning over to GA4, one of the biggest pieces of feedback that I hear is, oh, well, we don't have uh, bounce rates, time on site, or pages per session anymore. And those were my barometers for measuring success on my website. Um, <laughs> that's not a great barometer for success on your website. I'll explain. What has been the sole solitary goal of websites over the past, let's say five years, we're trying to omit the COVID years, but over the past five years, it's been to get the customer to where they wanna go on the website quicker and then get them to engage, i.e. hard conversion, as fast as possible, get them on the website, get them off the website and, and get them you know, back to what they're doing We've set an appointment, we've got them in the store, you know. So if the whole goal is to get them where they want to go on the website in two clicks or less, and the whole goal of that page is to capture their information as quickly as possible and get them, you know, to stop shopping, then why would we think that it was a bad barometer of success if our bounce rate was higher, our time on site and pages per session was lower. Like those, those, those rules directly conflict with one another. So that's why they're going away, is because they're just not good measurements for considering success on your website. You really wanna be looking at your soft and hard conversions. What's a soft conversion? What's a hard conversion, right? So a soft conversion, and this is subjective. There's a lot of opinions out there on what this can be. My personal opinion, scrolling through an SRP, that's a soft conversion. Scrolling through um, the um, maybe the FAQ pages, that's a really subjective one, but I've heard that one before. Um, scrolling through the service offerings, um, scrolling through the research pages for information on vehicles, those are pretty subjective soft conversions. Mine are scrolling through the SRP and clicking the hours and directions uh, page. Those are pretty, I, I think those are inarguably pretty basic soft conversions. A hard conversion would be click to call, click to text, uh, click to chat, um, and then a form submission. Viewing the VDP, I think that's pretty universally accepted as a soft conversion. But if you focus more on growth there in those areas in your soft and hard conversions as opposed to bounce rate, time on site, pages per session, you're going to have a much better barometer of success with regards to how your website is performing. So don't be afraid of G4 and I, I'm, I'm a big proponent of really learning how to navigate those things that I don't understand. So I, from the get-go, I've been very interested in GA4 and how it works. Now there's been, I want to say 16 different updates in the past probably maybe month and a half since <laughs> since we know GA4 is, is, is uh, canceling out Universal Analytics, but I try to navigate through it and learn it and be familiar with it as much as, as, much as I did with UA. Because it's inevitable that we're going to use it. So waiting until July 1st to really be knowledgeable about how to use it, you're really not doing yourself or your business so any kind of service. But it's important for business owners to be able to navigate around G4 and not be so dependent on their marketing agencies and marketing personnel to navigate those reports for them. You really need to understand what you're looking at and why it's important. So if they tell you, if you have a vendor telling you that bounce rate, time on site, pages per session was the most important metric, that means they don't really know what they're talking about, unfortunately. What you need to understand is you need to grow your soft and hard conversions, growing your users. Those are where you're going to be able to pinpoint where your successes are and where you can actually improve and tweak your strategies. The other thing, change that came up that uh, a lot of people are panicking about is the VLAs, the last update on VLAs. So a couple of weeks ago, Google announced that you can only make
make one change to your VLA strategy per month. I see, I see pros and cons to this. So for some marketing agencies who are constantly tweaking the VLA um, strategy and trying to make it optimized for that particular business, it's gonna be a bad thing. And they got, everybody who was doing that got dinged by Google. But the other part of that is as long as you set up, you know, rules for your team, like, hey, any changes for VLAs need to be submitted before the start of the new month, I mean, you can navigate around that pretty clearly. The, the part that's going to suck is if midway through the month we realize that, yeah, I think we need to put all our money on used or we need to put more money or make a... a uh, our splits from our budget need to go more towards used or you know whatever your change are you're not able to do that to the new month so I think that's the that's the con to it but again I see both sides of it but when you're looking at that holistic system between the the AdWords between your analytics all these changes that have come up in the in the recent months Instead of fighting it, instead of, oh, this sucks, this makes it harder to do, let's just get away from that. Let's just get away from that and let's work at how we can utilize the systems and programs we have in order to maximize our success with them. So, to wrap up, making sure you're talking about soft and hard conversions that are important to you, making sure you know what the marketing vendor or your marketing team considers uh, soft conversion. Hard conversions are pretty, they're pretty universal, but soft conversions can be subjective. So making sure you guys all agree on what a soft conversion is. And then on the other side of it, making sure you have your VLA strategy set up um, before the month starts. So you're not going to be able to tweak it mid-month. And if you do, that'll be the only tweak you make. So just be really careful um, about how you plan out your VLA strategy. And don't be afraid of GA4. Dive into it, learn it. Start navigating around and figuring out what you consider a conversion based off what the default sets are. I mean, there's a lot in there. Like there's one of the ones they have in there for an event is scroll. I don't know that I consider someone moving the page an actual event, but I mean, I'd be willing to measure it if it's in there just to see if there's any value in that data. Um, but that's all I got for this week. I hope that helps. Happy selling.